Hey everyone, Lisa with Diamond Design. So I'm pretty excited about this diamond painting that I just got in the mail because um, the person that I'm doing this unboxing for uh, lives in Canada and she makes her own diamond paintings. Um, I actually am going to post the link in the description so that all of you guys can watch it. She, believe it or not, made a video of herself printing the diamond paintings out of the printer that she bought placing the adhesive down onto the canvas it is double-sided adhesive which we'll see more of once i get it open um and sh and there's like a whole wall full of like bags and bags and bags of diamonds so i'm pretty stoked about this one um i am gonna need you to bear with me because i'm having a carpal tunnel flare up in my right hand you guys all know that i deal with that in both of them but the right one's pretty bad so i'm gonna pause um when i go to like take the top off and things like that just briefly but again you won't even know because it just you know it skips for a half a second and that's the end of that so first thing about this one there's my cat hi charlotte <laughs> um it comes in a tube and the only other company, to my knowledge, that sends them like that is Evermoment. And I do have one diamond painting from them that I still have to work on. Um, but I've seen Evermoment's canvases and their quality, um, the canvases and the diamonds. And they're far and above, you know, just based on what I've seen review-wise and from your guys' work. And the one that I have, they're like about as good as you can get. So... What I'm going to do is just briefly, really quick, both of the ends have the white covering on the tube, just like ever moments do. Um, so I'm going to pause it, pop the lid off, and then pick it right back up and show you guys what's inside. Okay, so there was tape on both ends of the tube. There was a piece going across here and then a piece going across the other white side. So I took it off. And I'm going to open it. I have not seen anything inside of here. Alright, so the first thing that we notice, now I can sit down at the table, um, is that it looks like it comes in a cellophane. Oh, okay. Okay, so here is the diamond painting itself. This one is a uh, 30 by 40, or 40 by 30, I think. Um, there was just a piece of cellophane on the end, I guess, for extra protection. So... Alright, so like, like I said in the beginning, it is um, double-sided adhesive, so we're going to take a close look at that. It looks like it comes in this plastic wrapping, so I'm going to peel that off and then pull the diamond painting out. So here's a good look at the whole thing all the way around. And I'm going to get it out of here, and then uh, once I get it out of the plastic, I will be back on camera. Okay, so right away, I'm seeing some really cool things with this one. She sent me her business card. She wrote, thanks again, Lisa, on it because I told her that I would be doing this review for her. Um, it says, Diamond Painting Addict, specializing in custom diamond paintings. Her website, which is www.diamondpaintingaddicts.com. You can like them on Facebook. And as I said before, they are located, she is located in Canada. Um, it came with a I guess that you would call it standard but I've never gotten a blue pen before so this is it, I mean it feels and looks like the pink one but it's blue so that's pretty cool um there's two pieces of wax a white tray a set of metal tweezers and it looks like a uh one of those blue pen grips now, I did not open the diamonds yet, but one of the first things I noticed is that, first of all, here is a picture of the canvas that I ordered, and then it looks like each bag, based on what I can see, is already labeled with the symbol and the DMC code. So that's something I've definitely never seen before. I don't even think Evermoment does that, if I'm correct. So, first of all, this is the second company I've ever seen that ships them in a tube the way that she did. Um, and then the diamonds are pre-packaged in their own bags, which I absolutely love. Everybody knows, everybody that knows me knows that I love when they come individually packaged like that. Because cutting those bags open and storing them can be a pain. So, I'm going to pull a couple of these out um, and then show them to you up close a little bit. I want you guys to be able to see the quality of the diamonds and I'm curious to see them 
or the quality myself and then we're going to look at the canvas and give that um like a full overview all right so once i opened it up i noticed that here is a little picture of what the um the canvas is which is really neat i've never seen it on like a little single sheet like that here is the inventory sheet which it looks like she even customized this for her own company um it has step-by-step -step directions on there step one remove all items from the package step two lay your canvas out on a clean flat workstation and then so on and so forth with a barcode in the corner and i believe if you scan this it will take you to her website um so this not only shows you the symbols and the colors and the DMC codes, which are right here. These are the DMC codes. But it also tells you how many of each, it says stitch, but it's the same thing. Diamonds um, are going to be on the canvas. So, and then, and then, like I said, inside, um, I'm just going to pull like a few of these bags out. I've never seen them like this. I'm like, I'm, I really am like super excited. So there's V. The, so just for example there oh that's the first one so v is at the top it's the green color right here and then u is the one beneath it so we have 164 300 dmc dmc codes match it looks like a plus sign in a circle i think is what i would call that i like to as we all do kind of label them in our head uh dmc 309 310 is still in the bag. I'm not going to pull all of them out, but there's DMC code 310, which the code is J. So I'm going to do the inventory separate. Again, I'm going to take some of these out and show them to you, which is what I'm going to do really quick right now. Just a couple of colors to see the quality of the drills, and then we're going to look over the canvas. Okay, so I pulled out uh, DMC number 316, which is like a light pink, and... The diamonds look phenomenal. The, I don't see any misshapen, any with tabs or anything like that. Um, as usual for me, they're square diamonds because those are my favorite. And I feel like they make for a more complete picture when you're done. Um, I'm going to review a few more colors before um, I show you guys the canvas. But I also missed that there's this really cool, like... Thick plastic, it looks like I think either, a, I think, I want to say it's a seven placer, multi placer tip. I missed that when I first opened the bag. So I just wanted to show you guys that that was also included in there. So that's one color and I'm going to do like one or two more and then we're going to get a look at the canvas itself. Okay, so I decided to do the 310 test, the, the black diamond test, because we know that from experience that usually these or the 939s or for some reason a lot of the other darker colors are the ones that have issues i don't see any issues whatsoever with any of these diamonds that i'm looking at i'm even trying to give them an up like a more up close look myself as i'm showing them to you guys and they look amazing i don't think i've ever seen three uh 310s especially that look that good um i'm just gonna do one more color for now um and then I want to get to the canvas because I know that's the part that everybody's really waiting on. All right. And then this is DMC code 435, which is like a light brown color. And once again, outstanding quality diamonds. Um, I don't see anything wrong with these at all. Uh, I would really like to know where she gets them from. I, I didn't ask... Um, I'm sure she has, you know, her own supplier. Like I said, I'm going to post a link in the description um, where you can see, like, she just has bags and bags and bags. And it looks like a craft room or something like that, like, but a really big one. Um, and then I think she takes them out of there and weighs them based on um, what the video shows. So I already trust that the drills are great quality. I'm going to do inventory off camera because it just takes too much time. I'm just going to put these away, and then we are going to give the canvas, um, like, a full, I guess, look through and see what it looks like. All right, so here is our canvas. Um, as you can see, I guess because she makes them herself, the, um, the, like, the code going down the side looks a little bit different than what we're used to seeing on standard canvases, but that's because... 
again, she makes them herself. Um, the material that the diamond painting is made on is very thick. If I'm trying to give you guys a close-up look at the back. Um, I wouldn't say it's got that cotton soft feeling, but I don't really like that personally. It's, it's more thick. Um, and I actually prefer thickness to flimsiness when it comes to these because once they're finished, it's easier to hang them up. So now it's time for the real test, which is to give it a peel back and look at the quality of the actual canvas. So here we go. I'm going to start in the bottom. If I can get it on there. Sorry. Lower. Give me one sec, guys. Lower left-hand corner and pull back. Okay, first of all, I can already see that, wow, the symbols are extremely clear. Like, I could probably work on this one without a lay pad. This is crazy. Um, I'm getting the light in there. There are, I don't see any bubbles, any rivers, which, as we all know, for poured glue canvases is like almost impossible to find um again look how clear the symbols are on this diamond painting it's unreal this is going to be really fun to do so i'm just i'm going to pull back half of it give me one sec just trying to get a grip on here okay here's the first half i'm going to try and get it in the light just so we can make sure that there's Yeah, there are no, no bubbles, no rivers whatsoever. It's like brand new. Like it literally looks like she made it yesterday. This is insane. Um, again, here's what the final picture is going to look like. You can look in the corner of the inventory sheet or she sends this, which comes with the diamonds. Um, so for a 40 by 30, I think it's actually going to look pretty good. She did send me a, um, like a mock-up of what it, like a general idea of what it was going to look like as a finished diamond painting, which was really cool of her to do. Um, I asked her if I could see, cause I couldn't decide if I wanted this one or another one. And after she showed me the other one, I decided that I liked this one a little bit better. Um, now I'm just going to do the same thing and peel back the other side, but I don't think we're going to run into any problems. As you can guys see, this thing is flat, especially now that I um, peeled it back and put it back down. And with double-sided adhesive, usually if there's, you know, creases or anything like that, but I don't see any on this canvas, all you have to do is pull it back, put it back down. I usually do halfway and um it will flatten out anything all right so it feels i could feel it tug and all right so now here we go now i can give you guys a really close up look with the light and as you can see there is literally nothing wrong with this canvas whatsoever it's like crystal clear quality not a single issue the symbols are extremely clear and easy to read again i honestly think i could do this one without a light pad. I won't because that's just <laughs> like, I need it because of my vision. But for those of you that don't use them, um, I absolutely have to highly recommend this company. So let me push this back down really quickly. I just, I don't want to mess this one up at all. Cause I've never seen a double-sided canvas that was in this kind of a condition. I mean, look at this. I'll turn it this way just to make it a little easier. Like, it's completely flat. There's not even a single fold or anything like that. It Again, it, I think because it comes in this rolled um, tube thing, I don't really know what they're called, um, that that helps to preserve the shape. Obviously, it helps to prevent um, crinkles, wrinkles, uh, bubbles, or anything like that. So, um, the only other thing that I wanted to go over was pricing on this. Um, it was 25, I believed, I think, don't quote me, but I think I paid $25 for the diamond painting and then 18 for shipping on a 40 by 30. So it comes out to about 43 bucks, which is a lot. Um, but 
considering that she makes them herself and they ship from Canada directly to your house. Um, and based on the diamond quality or the quality of the diamonds, diamond quality, whatever you want to call it. Um, the fact that she's literally making them from scratch, bagging up the diamonds by weight, um, and then printing them herself on a canvas with quality as good as this one, I would have to say it's probably worth it. Um, what I'm going to do is I have uh, literally three different projects going on right now. I'm working on a like a partial uh, special rhinestone unicorn that I've been, I think I've literally been working on it for like over a year. It's just not my thing, but I have a friend that I'm going to give it to and I'm almost done that one. And then there is the butterfly one that a lot of you guys have seen that I'm going to be giving to my mother-in-law. Um, and then I also started a, um, like a, it's almost like a sunset with a boat in the background, which is from my new manufacturer because um, I sell diamond paintings as well as you guys. Most of you guys, I think, already know. And my link to my store will also um, be in the in the video description. However, um, as somebody who sells them, I know how important it is to get your name out there. And I'm not the type of person to just promote only my own product and never promote anybody else's. Um, I have now switched over to pour glue canvases, um, simply because I'm not able to make them like she does from the comfort of my own home. If I was, it would, or if I was able to, it would be a totally different story. Um, but for anybody who, for whatever reason, prefers double-sided adhesive, um, and doesn't mind the price, which again, for the quality of this, based on what I'm seeing, I really, I would, I have to say it was, it's probably worth it. Um, I would highly recommend this over a buying from a store that you're unsure of B waiting for it to get here from China, which can take weeks to months. As we know, sometimes you get lucky and they'll show up in like a week. But, um, from the time that I ordered this, because this was, um, it was not a custom. It was like one of her stock images. I think I got it in about a week and it was sent via, um, UPS. Not USPS, but UPS. So it did get here faster than it would have if she had sent it regular mail. So again, I am very happy with this. Um, I would definitely recommend taking at least taking a look and reaching out to her. I believe if you're located in Canada, the shipping is cheaper than it would be to send it to the United States. Um, but again, you can reach out to her on her website or contact her on Facebook. Um, and she'll be happy to work with you um, in terms of figuring out the prices of different size canvases and what the shipping would cost to send them to your individual address. It also depends on where you're located within the United States. If you are in the States, she did tell me that it does depend on your address, which I know from experience is true. So I have to say, um, I've never seen anybody make their own canvases um, in any other country other than China up until now. So yeah, highly recommend. Um, I, again, I, I don't want to say for with certainty anything until after I at least get it started, but based on what I'm seeing for a double-sided, uh, canvas on a scale from one to 10, again, I have to give it a 10 because I've never seen one come, um, you know, just like the, how flat it is, the fact that there's nothing wrong with it, the fact that the bags are already labeled with the symbols on them. I, again, I don't, I can't say this with certainty, but I don't even think that Ever Moment does it with the symbols already on the bags like that. I will have to double check. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Feel free to check out her page. Um, the link to her store will be in the, in the video description. Also, um, the link that she sent me, which shows the work that she does, like the diamond paintings printing out, um, putting the diamonds into bags by weight. Um, they were on TikTok, so I'm going to post that link in the, in the description below so that you guys can see how she actually does it. It's a, it's a really cool watch. Um, so make sure to check that out and thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to like, subscribe. Um, you can now comment on my videos. I figured that out so you don't have to worry about not being able to comment anymore. 
um, I was able to turn that feature back on. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will respond to each one um, as soon as I see them pop up. Thanks again for watching everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.